guys, my name is Shanae Laura and welcome back to my channel, The Modern Weed. So today I'll be doing a short poem for you. If you watch my welcome video, you'll see that I mentioned that I've been writing poetry for most of my life and I'm really excited to share different poems that I've written and break them down for you kind of line or section by section to bring more clarity and put it more into perspective and give it the depth that it's kind of written to cover. The first one is called 3.17 a.m. It's a really short, it's for my people who are up late and it kind of touches on most reasons I think that, you know, we're kind of up late. So no, I don't memorize, don't do me, but I hope you guys enjoy. 3 a.m. is for the lost and lonely, hurt and moaning, crying and needy, wanting and weeping. 3 a.m. is for the heartbroken, misled and unspoken, the ones torn to the core, left with nothing to fight for. 3 a.m. is for the overthinkers, up all night, can't sleepers, wanna be, need to be, so beers. Missing him, missing her, holding on to empty words, broken promises and meaningless verbs. 3 a.m. is for the dreamers, believers, and seekers, those who feel there's more to life so they think deeper. Trying to make sense of the mysteries not at bay because their sense of peace can never stay. So the first section, I guess you could say, it's 3 a.m. is for the lost and lonely, hurt and moaning, crying and needing, wanting and weeping. This one is specifically for people who are up late for really two reasons. One, you're craving companionship or comfort. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can honestly be something that just brings you peace and you're up late because you're craving it, you're wanting it. So for those people, I encourage you to find something that brings you that peace of mind. It doesn't have to be another person. It can be music. It can be God. It can be finding the right combination of, you know, wax melters that calms you. But find that thing that brings you peace. And then on the other side of it, it's for the people who are hurting. And they're hurting lost themselves or they've lost something. For those people, I encourage you to let that pain in. Because emotions, if we don't feel them now, they're gonna come back, they don't go away. You have to deal with them, you know, eventually. So deal with it in the moment. If you're up late, feel that pain, cry yourself to sleep. That's some good sleep, for real, for real. But seriously. And honestly, one of my favorite Drake lyrics, I don't know why it's one of my favorites, is time heals all and heals her to walk in. And although the second heels is referring to like, y'all know shoes, you want to club, whatever, you wear your heels, I apply it to the same type of healing, as in healing your heart, healing that pain. It hurts to walk in that healing. It hurts to walk in that process. So don't be scared of it. Let it in. Let those emotions in and feel it. Walk through your healing process. The next part is 3 a.m. is for the heartbroken, misled, and unspoken. The ones torn to the core, left with nothing to fight for. So this section, I like to think, ideally represents people who are just at their wit's end. Like they are broken, they feel like there's nothing more to life, they feel like they have no purpose. I don't know if it's because, you know, you lost your relationship, you lost your job, you lost your aspiration and your desire to, to move through life in a way that you want to move through life. I encourage you to find that motivation. While you're up late, find that purpose. Take the time to discover yourself. Reinvent yourself. Who do I want to be? Who can I be? You know? So take that time to really discover yourself. Mm. Three of us for the overthinkers, up all night, can't sleepers, want to be, need to be, so beers. Missing him, missing her, holding on to empty words, broken promises, and meaningless words. So there's a lot packed into this section. So I'll start it off and kind of go line by line. So 3 a.m. is for the overthinkers, up all night, can't sleepers. Overthinkers, you're up because you're thinking about everything. You're one of those what-if people. Like, I think we all have those moments where it's like, hmm, what if I had $5 million? What would I do with that? You know what I'm saying? We all have those what-if moments. Play with those. While you're up, play with those what-ifs. You know what I'm saying? See what the possibilities hold for you. Put them into practice. Manifest those thoughts. So up all night, can't sleepers. If you have actual insomnia, I, my heart goes out to you. I'm like, I feel like people learn to live with it, but I know for me, my first year of undergrad, 
I could not go to sleep to save my life. I didn't realize that it was probably like me actually being homesick because I moved from Maryland to Florida. But the first year, I could not go to sleep. I had class at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I probably didn't go to sleep until like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Just up, couldn't sleep, wide awake. So my heart goes out to you. I hope that you find what you need to help put you to sleep. One of you need to be so weird. So this is really three different types of people. One of you, you're up late because you want to be someone else. You're not happy with who you are. And maybe you're one of those people who is looking out on Instagram like, oh, he's living his life like this. Oh, she's living her life like that. And you want that. Listen, no one else in this world was born or created to be you. So enjoy who you are, find who you are, and take the time to learn yourself. You need to be. So this is those people who, and if, if you're one of these people, I feel it. You have that pressure on your shoulders, whether it's to please your family, whether it's to appease your job, whether it's to appease, you know, certain standards that are just wearing on you. And it causes almost so much stress that you can't sleep. Hmm. I've been there remove it at the end of the day you live your life for you if you pleasing someone else is only going to bring you temporary joy you temporary happiness you have to go out and find them happy what meets your standards what brings you joy so while you're up late stressed about oh my gosh my parents won't kill me because i have a b in this class and they want me to have an a whatever it is relax do you put the work in work to make yourself proud don't get me wrong that feeling of making your parents proud or your grandparents proud is unmatched and i'm not saying that that's not a good feeling but don't allow it to consume you with stress and with guilt my last line on there is so weird so this is from people who are just kind of like it is what it is and they just live their life by that don't get me wrong that's one of my favorite black proverbs i say it all the time myself but recognize situations for what they are and recognize the power that you have in them. So if you're up late and you're thinking about something that's kind of just stressing you out, but you're also like, I'm letting it go. Know when it's time to let go, but know when it's time to take that power back. Know when it's time to find, okay, what can I do to change that? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not always what it is. Sometimes you have the opportunity to make change. You just don't realize it. Missing him, missing her, holding on to empty words, broken promises, and meaningless verbs. So this one's really self-explanatory, but my favorite line, phrase, section of the poem is meaningless verbs. And I guess because verbs are an action, right? So when you put meaningless in front of it, it implies that you're doing this, you know, maybe she's, she cooks for you every day, but there's no love behind it. So by that, I mean there's no intent. Make sure whatever you do is with intent. Make sure whatever you do has purpose and is, is genuine. Because at the end of the day, if it's meaningless, you can cook for him every day. You can cook for her every day. You can take her shopping. When there's no meaning, when there's no purpose, when it's not genuine, when it's not coming from a place of love and care and appreciation, it don't need to sing. So if you're up late and you're, it's because you're upset because someone has given you, boom, you in a situation ship, right? He's doing, she's doing whatever you're into. Everything that makes you feel like you're in a relationship, but they have, they don't want to put a title on it. They don't want to make it, you know, monogamous. Monogamous? monogamous. They don't want to make it monogamous. And that's kind of like, you really want that, right? But everything else he, she is doing is what you want them to do. Recognize the situation. If you cool with that, be cool with that. Listen, enjoy your situation ship. I'm mad at you. But if that's not what you want and it's keeping you up late because you're overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, is she, is he ever going to cuff me? Them actions that he, she's doing is meaningless. Maybe find you somebody who got some intent. Find you somebody who's going to be genuine. Find somebody who's doing this because not just to keep you around, not just to please you temporarily, but because that care, that love is there. And I'm not saying that it can't be there in a situation ship. I'm just saying recognize what you want. And if if it's not matching that, 
3 a.m. is for the dreamers, believers, and seekers. Those who feel there's more to life, so they think deeper. This one is probably for the best type of people who are up late. I'm not gonna say the best type, but you know, the ones who are up late for more positive reasons. You're up late because you're planning your next power move. You're up late because you're, you know, planning to go back to school. You're up late because you're planning to move to a new city because you're ready to get out of that toxic relationship. Kudos to you. Be up late, get your life right, get in your bag, period. I love that energy. And then finally, trying to make sense of mysteries not at bay because their sense of peace can never stay. So this is for people who are up late wandering. I don't know why, but that word always makes me think of Yanayika. But anyways, this is for people who are wondering, maybe there's more to life, maybe there's more to the relationship, maybe there's more to me. Those wandering thoughts, that could potentially cause you to discover something great about yourself or the world or your significant other, your family, whatever the case may be, I encourage you to play with those thoughts. I think wandering is what sparks, you know, imagination sparks creativity and who knows what you could do with that. So I encourage you guys, while you're up late and whatever feelings you're going through, experience those feelings. Discover yourself in those feelings. You're already up, you know what I'm saying? Take any time you can to help yourself grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this poem. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what your favorite line in the poem was. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.